give it to me because I stayed away eight years, you see. <laughs> and there's been a lot of peace around here since, with no old woman making a row. But this is the place where it can all become laughter, so let's have more theatre and less politics. Life is gorgeous and it's full of fun. And so with the special award going to a rather special lady, we say goodnight to you from the Theatre Royal here in Drury Lane. <laughs>
Almost all the men who run Yorkshire Cricket Club have resigned. Club members had passed a vote of no confidence in them at a special meeting at the weekend because of their decision to sack Jeff Boycott. Now elections will be held for a new committee. If Boycott supporters do well there, then the controversial batsman may be back playing for Yorkshire next season. The last of the six Walton babies went home today. Ruth had been kept in longer than her sisters because of a slight cold. And a two-year-old boy, Ben Hardwick, has been undergoing an operation to give him a new liver tonight. There were fears he might die because few bereaved parents are willing to donate their children's organs. Then his story was told on the television programme That's Life and calls came in from all over the country. A hospital spokesman has just said the five-hour operation has been completed successfully. And that's all from the newsroom. Good night. Well, just a high-speed tour now of tomorrow evening on BBC One at 6.40. Russell Harty's special guests will be zoo vet David Taylor, whose books form the basis for a new series starting next Sunday. Also, Michael and Mary Parkinson. At 10 past 7, Neris Hughes is Megan, the district nurse. At 7.40, the prospect at last of a second honeymoon for Arthur and Beryl in No Place Like Home. And at 10 past 8, Dallas with uh, JR still rattling those tantalising skeletons in Clayton Farlow's cupboard. At 9.25, Five, there's the visit, this one, to America by Philip Olds, the young British policeman paralysed by a gunman's bullet in 1980. Well, with incredible bravery, he's determined to walk again. Finally tomorrow at 10.50, Coffee, Tea or Me, a film on uh, an airline stewardess with an unusual marital problem, two husbands. That's Tuesday night on BBC One. Now, in just a few minutes, BBC Two will have highlights of day four in the test match between the cricketers of New Zealand and England. And on BBC One, our last programme this evening now, Wheels of Fire, the first of ten studies about the problems of India. This is Rajasthan, one of the most barren areas of India and one of the poorest. For many people here, there's been little chance of any real improvement in their lives. But this place, the Social Work and Research Centre in the village of Tilonia, has brought them new hope. The local people have been joined by experts from the city. They're working together to try to break the vicious circle of poverty that has settled on the land and to introduce some new and positive programs for rural development.